This is an SW Clark branded, although it's made by some unknown Chinesium company. 250 watt halogen self-ballasted high pressure mercury lamp. So it uses a 125 watt high pressure mercury arc tube. And based on my testing, probably a 400 watt, 230 to 240 volt uh, linear halogen lamp as the ballasting element. Of course, quite interesting to find these because these have gotten extremely rare and they were never common in the West because I think it was Osram GEC around 1962 was experimenting with using a halogen lamp as a ballasting element in self-ballasted or what the Brits call, because Osram GEC is a British company, uh, blended mercury lamps. But because of the cost at the time, it never became common, and by the time halogen lamps had gotten cheap, well, relatively speaking, um, blended mercury lamps were kind of an obsolescent technology because you could get comparable service lives with much greater luminous efficacies out of fluorescent, and especially compact fluorescent, once that had been developed, with the added benefit of instant restrike. These things... Uh, take a couple of minutes for the discharge tube to cool down enough for the arc to restrike. So, yeah. Of course, these lamps are also available in a 400 watt version, but I didn't get those because of the uh, power ratings and stuff. Because one of the unique things about higher pressure or about blend, um, blended slash self ballasted high pressure mercury lamps is they're actually brighter on startup than once they've reached steady state operating conditions but that comes at the expense of much higher power rating on startup this one when i was testing it granted on 240 volts it started at 400 about yeah about 400 watts which is where my estimate of that uh, lamp rating or the halogen lamp rating because the actual mercury tube once the discharge has struck and it's still the, you know, the, the just a diffuse cloud of mercury plasma before it's co coalesced into a steady state uh, concentrated arc is only about 15 to 20 volts. So almost all the drop across the lamp is happening in the uh, ballasting filament. Oh, and by the way, this uh, banding artifact, that's because this is strobing at 120 times a second. So it's a uh, camera shutter frame rate.